Yeah, first time, easy. Uh, just parked the car and walked on over. We didn't have any trouble parking, finding the garage, so we're excited to get on board. And a little FYI, four days for parking was only $63. That's not actually too bad. Yeah, and you're so right across the street. We, we're gonna double check to see what it was at Port Canaveral, and I think this was a better deal, so yeah. Yeah, we're going to be boarding Carnival Paradise, so let's go do that now. We'll show you the interior of the ship, and let's go get on a cruise ship. Woo. the paradise this is the second oldest ship in the carnival fleet built 1998 yes. 2124 passengers yeah. 920 crew and we have another fun fact that this is we believe the first or the only ship that does not have an alchemy bar no alchemy bar yes, yes. we think uh, so and it's the last of the fantasy class um, it's her first trip on a fantasy class ship and there's a second fantasy class that's the elation still sailing that does have an alchemy bar so this we believe is the only carnival ship with no alchemy bar yes and we did also find out that under a year so 11 months ago october 2023 this ship the paradise was just in dry dock for a little refurbishment so yeah it's only 11 months old everything should be nice and new and everything should be awesome so come along with us give us a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to our channel we'll put out one day video for all four days so make sure to stay tuned for all four videos watch them hit like hit subscribe share them with friends don't forget to comment and yeah lots of comments we love comments we always reply we're heading to our muster station it is deck 10. here's a shot of the atrium look at it let's go Welcome mm. into G1. 
G1. Mind the pole. Holy cow. Bon voyage. Ooh, we got a couple lanyards. That's cool. Holy cow. Look at the stateroom. All right. Oh, we got decorations. Oh, we do. And we have something. All aboard. Oh, we have cookies. Oh, my God. My sister. Oh, and she got the decorations as well. Oh, Angie. Well, this is just That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, my goodness. So cool. And yeah. I love the lanyards, too. Those are cool. All right. Are you yeah, ready? Look at that. All right. So, are you ready for the big reveal? The reason we booked this cabin, I had to go way in the future to get this particular room. It's got a special little feature. It may not have a balcony, but oh my gosh. do the reveal. It's so nice. Whoa, here we go. It's ah. the reveal. Oh, look at this view. Okay, this is too much. Hmm. That's awesome. So it says just at night we need to close the curtains. So, which I'm fine with because nobody wants the sun to be bam right in your face. Yeah. That is so cool. That is super cool. Ah. Awesome. Yeah, we had to go a year over a year in advance to have this room be available, but it wasn't that much more than a regular room. Okay, so we have a nice chair and table so we can have our coffee and look outside and not be boiling on the balcony. Yes. I mean, it does look like it would be a balcony, but oh, there's the bow of the ship. So yeah, we have a good view. Floor to ceiling windows, they call it. Oh, right, and then and look then at the space over here. We have, our, like we have a lot our, of space. We have our two towels here. We have a safe. We have a lot of storage here. And we got plenty of drawer space. Shall yeah. we check out Let's the check it out. closets? Okay. Oh, nice. More okay. bedding, I guess, if you need it. Life jackets up there. Two rows. Two rows. Yeah, but how cool. Andrea's sister got our room, our cabin decorated, so this is really nice. So yeah, let's just check it out. So nice big bed, and yeah. right out here we could just see and a it, really good view. It does look like they do have um, so two USB ports on that side, and then two on this side. Okay, how cool is this? The poles here, they are padded. So oh, yeah. if you hit your head. Which I could definitely be likely to do. Yeah. Comes equipped with hair dryer. And this is our mini fridge. And then we got more drawers. Yeah, plenty of storage. Nice ledges, uh, very nice cabin. Looks like it's been remodeled like a year ago. Yeah, shall we check, we out, check out the bathroom? You know? Very blue. Okay, standard older ship carnival bathroom, but you know, this works fine for us. Uh, we've seen the blue floors before. That looks like plenty of space. And decent shower. It does have the curtain, so. If you don't want the curtain sticking to you, keep the door shut. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, Carnival Paradise. Guy's Burger is on deck 10 in the back of the ship. There is a bit of a line. We're gonna have to wait in the line. It starts right here. Everybody's hungry. Yeah, it smells fantastic. Best burger at sea. And we're a bit hungry. Starving, actually. All right, it took a little bit of a wait. There's only a couple options. Like there's the uh, blue iguana for tacos, and there's Guy's Burger. But we have our Guy's Burger, and we're inside, so it's a little cooler. Oh, Andrea's giving it a go. It's a Guy's Burger. 
They usually have very good standards with these. It's got the crisp little edges. So, all right, let's go. <laughs> We have two plain Janes, and then we just went to toppings bar. Let us know in a comment what's your favorite guys burger. For me, just throwing on some onion, pickles, ketchup, mustard, this is perfect. Awesome burger. We always say, best burger at sea. I think I'll stand by that. And you know our tradition, a boarding cheer. Cheers. I got the fun chip tradition. Ah, very good. Oh. So at the very back, we did find Pizza Pirate. So it's in the back of the Lido deck. And then we do have the deli back here as well. Not a huge line. So we will be hitting this. Deli is part of the buffet. Show the buffet real quick. Good looking desserts here. Oh, they got the new coffee makers. Food bar looks small overall, but we'll see what all we can find. I mean, decent salad bar. Oh, Amber is our cruise director. Just show you back here real quick. Here's aft outside the Lido deck. So they do have a hot tub. This is the Serenity area. Looks pretty nice. And here's the harbor view. And here's Andrea. Ah, she just got birds. Uh, wow, look at these guys. They're legit, man. All right, time to move on. Yep. American Victory. Cool. Here's the city skyline. Here's this big guy. He's out. Look at the skyline. Oh, so we're parked across the street. <laughs> Very easy though. Yeah, look at the ship. So in the back of the ship though, they do have the two bars. They have blue iguana tequila bar, red frog rum bar. Decent looking bars. A little shot of the atrium. It does have a couple of glass elevators. And a bar right down here. We made it to deck nine. They have the arcade here, that's interesting. All right, but they also have the casino. Yes, the adult arcade is this other direction. Pixels is also on uh, nine here. Pixels Gallery. Atlantic Casino. Okay, it looks like the games are updated. We like that game on the end there. We don't mind donating money every now and then. Yeah, we may have to come in here. <laughs> so it's definitely a uh, smoking casino. Oh yeah, this side's smoking. Maybe the whole thing. Yeah, I bet the whole thing is. Buffalo slots. It's a lot of spinning. table games. This is pretty cool looking. This is a nice looking casino. This did get some updates, I believe, a year ago. So Andy yeah, will it. come in here and say, shut up and take my money. <laughs> shut up!
shut up and take my money. But we'll probably both come in here. Another bar here. This end of the casino. Oh, okay. So we'll have some live music here. This is a giant, giant bar. Look at it. Wow. Okay, not sure I've seen a bar this big. It goes way, 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 way. And it's all taken. Ah, Destiny restaurant. We'll have to figure out where check-ins are for our dining. All right, this one's called the Leonardo Bar. Probably won't see it this empty much. Yes, it's the karaoke bar, so. Oh, more live music here. It almost reminds me of like a Havana bar on the other bigger classes. I want to see things. We need to try this. Well, it does say it's a karaoke bar, so we know Andrew is all about that. I <laughs> kind of did it a couple times. And for your delight for coffees, Java Blue. And you can grab other uh, drinks as well. They got the bubbly water in here, juices, bottled water. Oh, yeah, nice. But for your cappuccinos and your lattes, this is the place to go. All right, Andrea loves the Ooh, Java and Blue. shakes. Oh yeah. We did try the chocolate shake one time. That was really good. Okay, yep, another bar and lounge, or dance club in there. Shops. The floor is kind of cool. Oh, another bar here, Rotterdam Bar. Oh, cool. This is nice. Another giant lounge here. Okay, so instead of an alchemy bar, there's a bunch of lounges. Wow. Oh, okay. so, this is probably the comedy club. Oh, yeah. This would be a great place. A lot of seats. All right, deck 11, we do have water slides. Carnival Waterworks. Got a funnel back there somewhere.
by the casino, they have a little booth for Banzai Sushi Express. So, if you want your sushi, you can still get it. All looks good. About $9, $8 for a roll. Sushi bang bang roll. It has wasabi, so I'm a little worried. Okay. Wasabi mustard is not bad unless it takes a while to build. Mm. Unless that's the mustard. Mm -hmm. All right. It almost tastes like there's like pickled uh, cucumber. So, oh, that's really good. And how many do we each get? There's eight to a roll, so we get four, so we still have room for dinner. All right, I see a little dollop of wasabi. <laughs> All right. It does look very good. Yeah, that's a very good roll. It's got crunchy cucumber, maybe. Uh, the veggies are good. Nice spice, but not too much. So I think it's really good. We might be trying this like every night. <laughs> so just to show you, if you're interested, if your luggage can fit under the bed, I can fit under the bed and so can the luggage. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. Mm. Okay, it is dinner time and we are in the main dining room. It's called Elation. So <laughs> yeah. uh, we found a couple items on the menu from studying. So we will show you those when they come out and we'll let you know what they are. But this is how we are dressed. We both look lovely and we are hungry. Yes. So, so we will show you our food and we'll show you what we're going to do with the rest of the night. All right, for dinner, our appetizers, I have this shrimp cocktail and a little Caesar salad. I have roasted duck rolls, so I'm very excited about that, and it's got like a uh, sweet sauce with it, so... Our food has arrived. Szechuan shrimp. Szechuan shrimp, Andrea. I got a vegetable Wellington, and I already tried the asparagus and the sauce, and it's awesome. So look how tall that is. Yeah. It's like crazy tall. Yeah. Holy cow. 
My duck was so so. It was a little spicy. But... Good. <laughs> so don't judge, but we did have to try the uh, braised short ribs. Holy cow! This just it just tears apart with a fork. And then Andrew really loves the mashed potatoes. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to try this, so we're sharing it. It's solid. But I need room to make cake now. <laughs> right. Yeah, so overall, we think all the entrees here were very, very solid. So Carnival's like stepped up their game for the entrees, we think. They're very good. So I have a navel. <laughs> I think it's navel. Did you say navel? I think navel orange cake. And it's very citrusy. I just took a little taste and oh, it's citrus. Oh, it's a light citrus. But like this is a citrus gel, so I'm sure. Ooh, yeah, okay. That's the citrus. It's pretty good. All right, and I just tried the cheesecake and it was fabulous. So I'm so happy Carnival now has cheesecake and it, they said it's mainly on night one, but uh, this used to only be like a Royal Caribbean thing. They would, they would have Royal cheesecake and Carnival never did. Now Carnival has cheesecake and I couldn't be happier because that's my favorite. That's awesome. Score. We are ending day one. Uh, as we talked about earlier, it was super easy getting on board and going through the terminal, garage, all that stuff. Um, got to do two lives, which if you got to join us for that, thanks for coming along. Um, we ate way more than we're used to eating. Checked out, of course, Guy's Burger from the get-go. Uh, they have a very tiny bonsai sushi, so we checked that out and went to uh, main dining room for dinner. And the way Andy goes is three entrees. So, watched, I believe they were called Powerhouse. It's the rock band on board, and they were a powerhouse. Loud, excitable, all that. We were going to check out the comedy show, but once we were seated watching the band, we didn't want to get up again. So that's it for day one. Tomorrow is sea day. So come along, join us for that and see what's in store. See ya.